good evening students now we are going to discuss some of the examples which students can able to prepare for their backlog examinations so these are based on engineering mathematics one syllabus so directly we will come to the example okay don't want to waste any much time so let us find out nth derivative of 15x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 to find the nth derivative of this what we need is actually we have to know what is the nth derivative of 1 by ax plus b so which is equal to we know already a raised to n into minus 1 whole raised to n into n factorial divided by ax plus b whole raised to n plus 1 so keeping in this mind so we can able to deal with this first so let us resolve this into partial fraction this is given is a proper fraction express proper fraction as a sum or difference of two or more partial fractions so let us first since the denominators contains linear distinct factors therefore we can able to write 15x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to this is a divided by x minus 1 plus b divided by x minus 2 okay so first find out a and b so let us take lcm in the right side which is a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1 divided by lcm is x minus 2 into x minus 2 so left side is 15 x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 so let us cancel these two students okay so what is remaining is 15 x minus 14 is equal to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1 now let us find out the value of a and b to find out the value of a and b we have two factor students x minus 1 and x minus 2 first we shall take let us take each factor that is x minus 1 equal to 0 or we can take x equal to 1 in this equation equation number 1 so what we get or uh, let her we can substitute this so 15 into x value is 1 minus 14 is equal to so this will become 0 because 1 minus 1 so 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 1 into a is minus a so 15 minus 15 into 1 15 minus 14 that is 1 or a is equal to will get minus 1 similarly substitute second factor that is x minus 2 equal to 0 or x equal to 2 by substituting x equal to 2 in 1 the first value becomes 0 we get here substitution of x equal to 2 15 into 2 minus 14 equal to this value is 0 plus 2 minus 1 1 1 into b is b so 15 2 is 30 30 minus 14 30 minus 14 is which is 16 so b value is 16 so therefore what we can able to write is this value that is 15x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 can be written as a value is equal to minus 1 divided by x minus 1 plus b value is 16 divided by 16 divided by x minus 2. So further we are going to find out nth derivative for this. To find the nth derivative take nth derivative on both sides take nth derivative on both sides 
So by taking antiderivative on both sides, left side becomes antiderivative of 15x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to this is minus nth derivative of 1 divided by x minus 1 plus 16 times 16 is a constant nth derivative of 1 by x minus 2. So finally I am going to write here this direct solution. So this is equal to so left side is nth derivative of 15x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to minus times of integration sorry and the nth derivative of 1 by x minus 1 I have already written here by comparing you will come to know that a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 1 use here this is minus times of a value is 1 1 raised to n minus 1 whole raised to n n factorial divided by x minus 1 whole raised to n plus 1 plus 16 times of here again comparing these two a is equal to 1 1 raised to n minus 1 whole raised to n n factorial divided by x minus 2 whole raised to n plus 1. So this is the nth derivative of 15 x minus 14 divided by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Okay. In the next class we will deal with one more example based on nth derivative with the help of Leibniz theorem. Thank you so much.